<laughs> Coffee on tap yet? I don't think you're gonna like it. Why is that? Is it some more of that organic junk Ben keeps buying? No, he started buying this Shane family coffee that he thinks is wonderful. Why? Or do I want to know? A half percent of the proceeds go to Redwood Tree Preservation in California. Is there such a thing? Apparently. And Ben is suddenly into this? Since when? Since whenever. Next week it'll be the Nigerian cave bat. Is there such a thing? Not a clue. So crappy coffee? Mm, try some. Does the Shane family know they make cruddy java? Who knows, Sierra? I did see an ad on backstage that they're looking for a new spokesperson for their coffee. A spokesperson gig? Really? I could be a spokesperson. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said you were the gangster's girl that regrets it leader type of actor? Whatever gave you that idea? <laughs> you did. You said Miguel had a friend who was a Whoa, friend. Whoa, stop right there, Marla. Miguel got his walking papers yesterday. His name is Verboten. I thought his name was Miguel. P. U. Comedy isn't your thing. Speaking of which, I've got to go get ready for the show. Where are you performing the pig today? At an elementary school near downtown. Yay for you. Don't knock it. Those kids are the best audiences we've had for the show. Go fig. It's a show about barnyard animals gone insane. Here, you should try some coffee. I thought you said it was bad. That's why you should try it. <laughs> Break a leg, porker. Break your face. Bye. I'll just give you the taste test. Ugh. <coughs> no wonder they need a spokesperson. I've had battery acid that tasted better. <laughs> <laughs> For my next gig It's a tough arrangement When I work like a pig When I get that big part I'll be thrilled to announce And I'll tell the whole world I was star us for out When I'm famous I'll still be your friend Cameras in my face Headlines of disgrace I'll be your friend till the end Yes, I'll be your friend When I'm famous Oh, when I'm famous Don't anyone eat dinner tonight, it's on me you mean it's on Burrito Burrow? Yup, I'm going out there to live the dream as an actor. In a burrito commercial. It pays money, Ben. I thought it paid in burritos. Those two? I'm not a big burrito fan. You will be, they're really good. You've had them? I've been preparing for my character. What character? It's a commercial. Commercials have characters in them. And I'm playing a character that loves burritos. That explains it. Explains why. The fact that your skirt's so... <sighs> Never mind, gotta go. Not funny. Okay, so dinner's on you. Wonderful. Last of the big spenders, you're not. They're free burritos. I mean, actors and free food go together like drunk and disorderly. <laughs> Boy, do they ever. Do well. Thanks. Let Marla know about dinner. Sure. <laughs> now go out there and love those burritos. <laughs> Is she gone? She's gone. Good. We need to have a serious discussion. About? That which cannot be named. We better not. I'll move out. We don't have any. Calm down. I just want to do some preventative maintenance. For bed bugs? You said it! Sorry, sorry. We need to develop a strategy. We need to get a calendar and set dates for when we're going to eat clothes in plastic bags and Whoa, then we're going to- Whoa, hold on there. Why are you concerned all of a sudden? Is this some character development thing you're doing for some part? No, it's not. This is serious. Yes, it is. Answer the question. Do you remember Starla Jenkins? Starla who? You know, the girl who was in Musical the Musical? Who? You remember she sang a rendition of Old Man River? Oh, yeah. I remember. Somewhere my choral director just shuddered. No doubt. Anyway, she 
lives with three other actors across town, and they got... They will not be named. Precisely. So we need to defog our apartment because they got some? You can never be too careful. You can also be obsessive-compulsive about things. Is that what you're doing, Ben? Since when have I... Would you I... like the list alphabetically or numerically? I'm not! <laughs> yes, you are! I'm going to look into getting a fogger. We'll have to move out if you do something like that. Not for very long. Ben? What? Don't. I'm serious about this. So am I. No one else would take me in, and the last time I lived in the park, I nearly joined a commune. <laughs> Sierra, I just Do think... not do it. Or? Do it and find out. I'm going to an open call. For what? Oh, there's some new show being cast that a couple of my friends are excited about and want me to audition with them. Hmm. What's the show? Preggers. Oh, wow. Let me guess what that show is about. They say it's really good. It makes a solid statement, which is so important to every show that's ever put on the stage. You said it. Hand me that pillow over there. What for? For my audition, hello, preggers. I'm gonna stuff it under my shirt. I'm sure you're the only one who has that idea. I sense your sarcasm. Good. Get out of the way! I'm going to an audition. Chopped liver? Nope. But speaking of which, I've got some for you. I can see that. Two full bags of burritos. Think of all the money we'll save this month on groceries. <laughs> Can't wait. They're good burritos. I reserve judgment until dinner time. You look bushed. I've got to get another job. The theater isn't paying enough to live on. I could have told you that. <laughs> I was looking online to see what it would take to be a nanny. Marla, it takes a special kind of person. I know. And after doing this job day after day and mingling with lots of kids, I have a problem. What's that? I hate them. <laughs> you better believe it. They're the rudest creatures on God's green earth and smell and pick their noses and have no filter whatsoever. None. Do you think that might not be a good thing, then, if you want to be a nanny? I guess, but the pay is good, or it can be, and the hours are flexible. But you have to be on call, and you have to like kids. That's my dilemma. Do some online billing. I've been looking into it. I know nothing about it. <laughs> you know nothing about kids. Yes, I do. Weren't you listening? They are monsters. I know kids all right. No respect at all. This is interesting and all, but ask me how my day went. <laughs> I know how your day went. I'm looking at the results of your labor. Ask me how my day went. Fine. How did your day go? So-so. <sighs> <laughs> I actually worked with my craft today. Got paid for it. Got food to boot. So what's the problem? You're going to laugh at me. Probably. Tell me. You know what I really see myself as? I mean, playing. Dare I ask? You're gonna laugh at me. We've already established that fact. I mean, I just don't know why no one else has ever seen it. Seen what? I've worked so hard to cultivate the right image, the right clothes, the right hair, the right walk, and, and all I get is a job selling burritos. Do you know they actually thought about putting my character back in the kitchen? Wearing a hairnet? Can you believe that? That would have been some commercial. Now you're just patronizing me. No, go ahead. I told them a woman like myself wouldn't be seen in a kitchen where they cook nothing but burritos. Why would you tell them that? It's their commercial. But Marla, I'm not that tight. They thought so, apparently. That's just it. I've worked so hard for people to see me as I really am. You said that already. My daddy saw me that way. Sure he did. <laughs> and my grandma Ellen. Sure. And Uncle Steve. What did they see you as? You're gonna What's laugh at me. crying out loud, Astrid. What did they see you a as? A princess! A what? 
You heard me. And you see yourself this way? Every day. I mean, surely you've noticed. That's how I carry myself. <laughs> okay. That's my dream. To play a princess for Disney. That's your dream? Yeah. I mean, I am a princess. I am. I have the carriage, the voice, and manners of one. <laughs> a princess? Yes, Marla, a princess. You heard me. I just wanted to make sure to verify. I see myself as a princess. Okay? Got it now? I sure do. Thank you. A princess. Yes, for the last time. And your daddy saw you that way. <laughs> yes, he did. My dad knows my type. A yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Hold on, Astrid. I need to do something right quick. Fine. <laughs> Oops. Why is everyone frowning? They look a little greasy. They've just been sitting in the bag all afternoon. No biggie. Right. No big deal. All right, Ben. Eat it up. You betcha. Marla. Oh, Chance, just the one. You guys are hurting my feelings. You have those? Since when? <laughs> just the one, please. Fine. <laughs> and uh, you get burritos for a month from this place? <laughs> it's called Burrito Borough, lest we forget. Oh, yeah. Right. Yes, for a month, but I was waiting to tell you guys the big news. Big news? Burrito related? Yes, so if this commercial works out, they're gonna have me do a series of spots for them. Hey, that's great, Astrid! Congrats! With a steady supply of burritos as your salary? Yes, in addition to paying me. In money? Yes. Actual money, you know, with the president's faces on the bills? Yes, Ben. In money. <laughs> and in burritos, lest we forget. I take it you're gonna shoot another mini episode for your YouTube series talking all about it? Yes, later. I'll have you run the camera. Sure. But no unplugging the Wi-Fi like you did the other day. I did it one time! I've upset this household in ways we still haven't recovered from. I didn't realize Wi-Fi was life around here. Now you do. <laughs> okay, let's eat it up. You betcha. You too? Absolutely. I knew when I ate the first bite I was done for. Me too. I keep burping up bile. Oh, TMI. Sorry. At least I didn't wake the others. Oh, they'll be up soon, I'm sure. Once you get it out of your system, you'll feel better. Promise. Hope so. But I mean, all of it out of your system. <laughs> I hear ya. Don't tell anyone, but I hope Astrid gets the worst of it. I mean, who in their right mind eats food from Burrito Burrow? <laughs> Apparently we do. Marla, I've been wanting to talk to you about what we talked about the other day. That doesn't really narrow it down. You know, when we talked about you kind of having and me kind of having. Oh, that talk. And you having feelings for me. Uh, you having feelings for me. Right. That talk. So? Yeah. 
trying to let the awkward thing pass before I go on. <laughs> Me too. Probably not going to happen? Most likely not. I just wanted to say that... Yes? I didn't really exactly feel good about where we left it. I thought it was left where you wanted it left. Well, I only left it there because I sensed you wanted me to leave it, or I left it before we went past where everything was left and made everything weird. <laughs> sure. I was kind of sorry it was left where we left it. Mm, where you left it. Sure. And just kind of? You are really making this hard for me, aren't you? I have no idea what you're trying to say, Ben. I'm doing my best. It's not very good. I know, but th th this isn't my thing. I, I wanted to be, but I can't quite do it. I can see that. And I stutter, and I can't form a... One of those things your brain does. A thought? <laughs> yeah, those. Maybe I should just chalk this up to the burritos talking. No, no, no. All I know to say is that if I wasn't burping up hot burrito bile, I wouldn't mind kissing you. Oh, Ben. You know what? I don't care. Ben, I do mind burrito bile. <laughs> but it was a lot racier than this. Thanks a lot, Sierra. Written much better, though. Thanks again. I mean much better. Sierra? Much, much better. <laughs> I take it the burritos have declared war on you, too? You better believe it. My system has hit the eject button. The bathroom's all yours. I can wait if your scene is going to get better. <laughs> we were having a private discussion. Mm, I like this scene better. Whatever it was, it was only for two people. And an audience. <laughs> that sounds good right now. To tell. I was thinking maybe a piece of toast with a thin layer of warm cottage cheese on top. Don't you dare. Maybe a little cigarette ash just sprinkled on there. I hate you! <laughs> and that's how you take care of that. Uh, go ahead with what you were saying. I think we better not stand outside the door. Good call. Oh, uh, now, Ben, we were discussing... You're gonna have to hold that thought, Marla. Why is that? I won't be able to wait my turn. What a beautiful morning. Speak for yourself. Oh, you're up. You look awful. No offense. Are you feeling all right? Does it look like I feel all right? No, that's what I'm asking. <laughs> I look sick to you. Yes. Like I'm about to throw up at any minute. I would say so, yeah. As in about to lay down and die. It seems that way, yeah. <laughs> I'm completely dehydrated. Have some coffee. <laughs> That's the last thing I want, Astrid. The last thing on this earth. You should stay in today. I plan on it. Get some juice and get those vitamins back in your body. You should shut up. <laughs> I'm trying to help. You did already. Is this the infirmary? Nope. Where folks come to die. Great. Sign me up. You're sick, too? Does it look like it? Don't go through that again. Yes, it feels like someone stomped on my gut. Oh, no need to be so graphic, Ben. You want graphic? Let me describe to you what I flushed down the toilet at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> no need to be so disgusting about it. If I had the energy, I would knock you silly. Take a number. I'm first. I need a piece of toast and nothing else. With warm cottage cheese. <laughs> Hush up, please. After I kill Astrid, you're next. Why are y'all looking at me like this is my fault? Because it is. Me? Yes, you poisoner. Murderer. You're not sick. Never felt better, why? <laughs> I've got one word for you. 
What word is that? Burritos. Oh, come on. They were off. Off? They were poisoned. You guys are all exaggerating. Those burritos were fine. I had two of them, and I'm fine. There is no justice in the world. (laughs) (laughs) My understudy is going to have to take my part in the show today, Astrid. So, if you're the pig, is your understudy the piglet? (laughs) (laughs) I am in no mood. Astrid is taking food off of my table. Uh Uh-huh. I put food on it. And brought death into our humble abode. (laughs) Are you guys sure you didn't have some bad... I don't know, what do you have to drink? Tap water? Oh, don't tell me it was that. It wasn't the burrito. I meant to differ. Then how come I'm fine and you're not? Because you're in cahoots with the devil. And I don't (laughs) use the word cahoots often, so you should be warned. We can talk about this later. I have an audition to go to. Oh, another one? If this one is for a food spot, I will end your life, <laughs> just so you know. This one's for a play. Which one? Oh, Ramalama Theater is putting on a production of Barf and Puke. Oh, don't use those words. Here, here. I've never heard of it. It's an experimental thing in a storefront somewhere. It's making a statement about those afflicted with cyclic vomiting syndrome. The playwright feels it's about time people be educated about this rare disorder, and he has a lot to say about it. So do I, but it involves lots of profanity. Sierra, all aimed at you. Look, I'm sorry you're all sick, but don't blame this on me. I didn't make you eat those burritos. Oh, hold me back. I'm going to kill her. No, me first. Oh, okay, that's my kid. I can't feel better. I cannot believe she wasn't affected by those rancid burritos. And she's off. And here we are, stuck together, dying. I should go back to bed, but I don't have the strength to move from this spot. I hear you. Just cover me with a blanket and let me expire. You know what's the worst part of all this? What's that? Astrid has a whole month's supply of those killer burritos. <laughs> Justice just died. <coughs> what are you doing? Disinfecting this place. Does it kill bed bugs too? Don't you dare say that word. Uh, no, Ben. I did check the bottle though. <coughs> Will you quit that and let us all die in peace? I, for one, want to live. <coughs> Whatever for. To get revenge on our other roommate who is feeling well, by the way. Sierra. All germs in a two mile radius get the message. You've killed them all. You better believe it. I take no prisoners. <laughs> Anyone up for any broth yet? Broth? No, no talk of food. It's just broth. I can't even keep water down. Did you hear me? Water. I heard you. I want vengeance. (laughs) Okay, so she has a steel stomach. She is from the devil. That is the only explanation. (laughs) I agree. She's in league with some demonic horde. A curse upon her. A pox. I think I'm gonna go make some broth. Oh, that word again. No food like words if you please. Fine, I'll be rummaging in the kitchen. Ugh, the place where food like things are made. We should barricade it from anyone entering in there. Uh, My gut feels like I've done 4,000 crunches. I heard that. Do you have the constant rumbling in your tummy? Yes, and the burning. Lots of burning. And the sweat. Oh yeah, and the bile. Loads of bile. Loads. I hate bile. With a passion. (laughs) Speaking of passion, what were you and Marla talking about in the hallway last night? I mean, I saw the infamous kiss, but... We were discussing the discussion we had a few days ago. About? If I wanted you to know, I would tell you about it. An oversight on your part? Tell me. Just what I said. We were talking about what we talked about. 
It's a wonder the human race reproduces the next generation. We're slow movers. I've got news for you. Slow has you beat by a mile and a half. It was just talking. I thought you said talking about talking. You too. Maybe I should step in and help things along. No, no, no. Your track record has outgrown its track. Just because Miguel can I quit talking about himself all the time doesn't Wait, 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 wait. He couldn't stop talking about himself all the time? Cross on. <laughs> what does no foodie type words being spoken mean to you? I thought you might have changed your mind. We're near death in here. I kicked him out of the apartment twice. And why did I think that moving in with a bunch of actors was a good life plan? Who else would let you move in with them? <laughs> Cooked in the kitchen again? No, thank you. All right then. Just let us pass away in peace and quiet. Hey everyone. So much for peace and quiet. You all look terrible. You're not looking so hot yourself. Thanks a lot. You are looking a little pale. Did the burritos get to you after all? No, I'm telling you those burritos had no effect on because me. Because of the deal you made with the devil. Remind him. Why the long face? Oh, my audition. That bad? Why is everyone involved in the theater a psycho? Ooh, story. Yeah, slow me into my agonizing death over here. What was it for again? Barf and puke. Oh, my old friends. <laughs> the playwright is directing it, and before the audition, he goes on and on about people with cyclic vomiting syndrome. Is that really a thing? Where have you been for the last day or so? Oh, yeah. Right. This guy thinks it's long overdue that people don't know about it. Does he have it? Oh no. But he has a lot to say about it. As in three hours worth. That's how long the play is? Yup. This guy hopes it'll help change health regulations. What regulations? I don't know. <laughs> the American classic is born. Hooray. But the auditions were terrible. I mean, truly. The pits. What did you have to do? Since the play is called Barf and Puke, guess what goes on in the play? As in nearly every scene. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so he had everyone stand up and go through the motions of throwing up. Oh, please, my stomach can only handle so much. Oh, and he was really hoping for someone who could puke on cue and boy, everyone was really trying, let me tell you. <laughs> I just had to get out of there. That's one thing that really gets me ill. What's that? Oh, people who are about to throw up. Oh, my stomach starts to churn and I just run to the nearest toilet. I ran out of that theater before I embarrassed myself. You should have stayed and done it. You would have been cast for sure. Ugh, forget it. So, you can't handle it when people are about to up Chuck, huh? Not on your life. Sierra. Oh, I think those burritos are boiling again. <laughs> yeah, me too. I think I'm feeling sick. Oh, oh, stop it, Diddy. You just hear what I said? Oh. We sure did. <laughs> oh, oh, I think oh, I'm going to yeah. be sick. <laughs> Game set and match. Uh. <laughs> <laughs>